The throne is exposed. Venomancer's trying to go for it. Sven is dead. Venomancer is dead. They're actually doing it. They're somehow defending the throne. Can the Witch Doctor do it? Can the Ricky do it? I've decided to do intros again. We are watching, obviously it's a longer than hour game. They all are, uh, with lots of shenanigans. Uh, but this is a Venomancer with zero kills in a, in a one and a half hour game with 65 assists. So he's the true ultimate support. And we'll see how that goes today in 10 MMR Herald. This is also a very low rated game. What are the lanes? What are the lanes? There's three guys mid. Um, I see the witch doctor that has the wards and sentries is pinging the Ricky to get him to go away. This is my lane, he says. That is not what I expected. Holy shit, dude. This is something that is so unique to Harold. Like, he's mid, and he pinged the Ricky to fuck off and not come to his lane. But he's buying the wards. So he's going mid and farming, but he's legit supporting, too. Like, I've never seen this outside of Harold. It's low-key kind of interesting. The mid as a support thing. We'll see how that pans out for him. I'm gonna keep saying pan out. That's a good saying. Oh man, this Viper... This Viper looks like he's died to Witch Doctor before and is traumatized. That's the third ward he's gonna put down mid, by the way. And now there's a fourth. It's the Death Ward. Very nice. Even uses the Death Ward to farm the Catapult. Fuck yeah, dude. Oh, he saved the Invis Rune this entire time. He saved the Invis Rune to solo kill the Viper. Good lord. Oh, man. That is... Depressing for Viper. And a very nice play for the Witch Doctor. Gets the rune. Also, both Death Wards used right before the rune spawns. So he secures the next rune. This guy is genuinely playing a good Witch Doctor mid. And keep in mind, he started with fucking two sentries, two wards. That was his starting build. Look at this gank. Here we go. What do you do if three Witch Doctors run at you? Well, he could press counters. I see. Yeah, the illusions do make it confusing. My brother has a goat farm. He got a goat off of Kijiji, which is the Canadian Craigslist. And then it went over and fucked the neighbor's goat. And then so they gave him the goats that came out. His goat, Billy. And he called it Billy the Cunt. And Billy the Cunt would go over and fuck the neighbor's goat. And then all the kids would fuck each other and create mo more goats. Now he's like 40 goats. That's not a joke. I I'm dead serious. My brother has a goat farm. Oh, I see. The setup from Venomancer. Very nice. And the last cask bounce. Dude, if I was Wraith King, I would be screaming and shouting right now about how these idiots are diving me. Oh, yeah, the big turnaround. This tower is beating the living shit out of Venomancer. That was a full to zero with the tower, pretty much. But it does mean that the Maledict and the ult gets to land on the Wraith King. Worth it. It's worth it if you're Wraith King. He's going for an Agatum Scepter. He's going for the Superman Sven. Fuck yeah, dude. That's awesome. He's not building what's good. He's building what's fun. That is absolutely the way to play Dota. Harpoon Superman Aghanim Scepter. That is a cool build. He's going to just be flying around the place. Look at this, man. He's already flying. Yeah, baby. So awesome. Ah, I see. Uh, I was wondering who popped the smoke. It is, of course, the mid lane support Witch Doctor. So, as we suspected, he is indeed supporting from the mid lane. Popping smokes, making calls, warding. Yep, there we go. On the high ground. Very nice. And Viper, even though he sees the ward appearing there, will be walking into the smoke. They have a ward sentry there, so he does indeed see that. And Witch Doctor, once again, gets the rune. So this guy is a fucking Giga Chad, is, what, is what's happening here. Right. Blinks in, takes a single Wisdom Rune, and then says, Ah, you guys can have the other one. That is not typical for a carry player, I gotta say. Okay, I, I gotta see Sven go flying. Yeah, baby! Fuck yeah, there's the Superman Sven, baby. Um, Unfortunately... It is quite dog shit. 
But he's hasted. I didn't realize he was hasted. And the charge comes out. Oh my god. He is a Giga Chad. Dyer's bottom tower is being attacked. That's for me. This is very confusing. Uh, there's heroes that are just not running at this, by the way, that are in the game. Okay, so that's going to be Venno's fourth death. There's the Sven Superman. They have an Orchid. They, I feel like they could kill Sven with an Orchid. I don't know, man. Ricky's dusted, by the way, so Ray King sees him. If he just saunters his way into the trees there, he he's pinging up there. That is the ultimate juke from Ricky. Just stand completely still. Holy Hannah. What a juke. Okay, here we go. Silver Edge completed. Oh, no. Leave him alone, dude. Come on, man. Is this purge? Is it a talent that makes it purge? I don't remember. Oh, okay. No, it's the... It, it is the, the Aghanim Scepter. Okay, that's... The Voodoo Switcheroo, which is still enough to kill the pathetic Anti-Mage. Can Wraith King finish off the Witch Doctor? Yes, he can. That's his ult. Venomancer's tanking the tower, as we've seen many times during this game. He really likes doing that. Sven jumps in. He's got no BKB, so... I feel like he could be griefing here. Charge comes out from the Spirit Breaker, who I forgot was in this game. The slow and steady beatdown of the Sven, who's also tanking the tower. I heard a Viper ulti go off. That's a Viper ulti on the Bristleback, who I guess was dodging... Not a great guy to go on. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to your face. He is broken, too, by the Viper bullshit, so he's taking a shitload of damage in silence. And that's Sven supermanning himself in as Anti-Mage takes out the Bristleback on the back lines. I feel like Anti-Mage is about to die to the Witch Doctor. Oh, no, he blinked out. He realized the strength of this man who presses the Death Ward, instantly gets it interrupted. And that is a... Not five-man team wipe. Witch Doctor wa walks away with the Shadow Blade. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Here's the big Death Ward. E Voodoo Switcher Root. E Voodoo Switcher Root. And he's gonna go down. Okay, I was wrong. Uh, that's without the Anti Mage. Bristleback, he's got the Bloodstone. He's dead. I do feel like there's a scenario. If he had Ags and the Bloodstone ready, he just life steals the full there. Like, they're, they're grouping up big time on the Dire. Witch Doctor's like, all right, guys. I got Maledict. I got Voodoo Switcheroo. This guy's two lives. I got two ults. He's just fucking in, dude. He's just, he's baiting this. But he might be baiting his team in. Yep, the death ward. Put in work. It bounces to the ghost. That's not good. Anti-mage is not here, by the way. Sven still does not have his BKB. This is very unfortunate for him. Because he's getting his ass kited. Superman's onto the CM. Slams her down. Anti-mage jumps in on the bristleback. Who has his Aghanim Scepter and the Bloodstone. He's going to use it. Not the Bloodstone. Does use the Ags. It did absolutely fucking nothing. I think he was broken. Maybe that disables it. If that does, that really sucks. And he goes down. Okay. Uh, Witch Doctor was defending base. He's got Refresher Orb, by the way. So uh, that'll deal with the Wraith King having two lives. As he will have two Death Wards. I see. Solid 30 seconds of gameplay here from Anti-Mage. This is not what you want to see from your carry player. The TP, what would take him one second to blink into getting stuck in the trees. That's a, that's a classic right there. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. He's in. Big Daddy Sven. And they're going to go for the Bristleback. I feel very bad for him at this point. Very bad. Double BKB. Sven's going to... Potentially walk out of this one. The Ghost Scepter comes out from Venomancer. Sven. Supermaning himself in. The Witch Doctor doing a metric fuckload of damage. It's bouncing off the Skeletons. He has Refresher, by the way. So he has a second ult. He just doesn't have mana for it just yet. Now he's got mana. He's going to use the Voodoo Switcheroo. Which I think will be enough to take down 
the Wraith King, actually, because he's maledicted. And Ricky's going to kill the CM on his own. He is attacking very quickly. And that's double ghost, but they're both dead. Is she going to run in a straight line? She's not. She's going to run away and then four staff. Very nice. Oh, that feels bad. That is some fucking discipline. Even the even the Radiant's going to walk by the bounty runes to go for the CM. Oh my god. That is incredible discipline. I am fucking impressed. It's just boredom and, and conveniently having been here as Witch Doctor. That was a Voodoo Switcheroo. No big deal. Not a long cooldown on that as the Spirit Breaker jumps in, uses the Blade Mail, but of course that does not reflect through the BKB as the Witch Doctor is bouncing off of, I think, the Creeps. At the very least, the Ghost of Spirit Breaker as the Sven Stun comes in. Wraith King goes down one time. Anti-Mage blinks in. Fucking Madman. Witch Doctor uses the Refresher or Voodoo Switcheroo at first. Uh, is Anti-Mage maledicted? Yes, he is. He's actually dead on Anti-Mage. He is a ghost now. Oh, uh, the Wraith King Illusion might end up taking down the Sven, who gets earned. Last second actually helps out as the dodge coming from the Sven goes down to the Viper because of the corrosive skin. Alright, so that's a team wipe. Charge comes out onto the Bristle, who's immortal. So it's two immortal guys fighting right now. That's what's happening. Neither of these heroes, I think, will go down. Yep. Uh, I, I, I'm not sure what this is. Uh, as Ricky is godlike, he took the CM out while this was happening. I feel like Bristleback does not fucking die, bro. Sven, he's there, though. He's got the Superman coming in on the Spirit Breaker. He's going to feed himself away. Every, every single Superman, he fucking dies as Ricky is looking for some pickoffs in the back line. He's going to run into the Immortal guy who's very low HP. Maybe he can actually take him out finally. The man fight. Just the straight up man fight between two manly men. I respect it. Although one of them is invisible. Not for long. He's going to break the invis. <laughs> okay, dude. Oh, here we go. The fight <laughs> again. Ricky. I feel like fighting the guy with the second life is not the best. There's a ward on the low ground there that I just noticed. I don't know who put that there. It looks like... Oh, there's the CM. It's gone now. Evidence has been destroyed. That's all right. Spirit Breaker. Still not using the Stygian. He is just hoarding his shit in the backpack. Ricky is thinking twice about jumping on this guy. He can just blade mail an instant. Uh, okay, maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there was not much thinking twice going on there. <sighs> okay. Um, Witch Doctor put a bunch of question marks and Chinese in chat, so I'm going to take a wild guess and say he's confused about the state of the game, which, don't worry, we, we all are, so... I'm with you. Radiance Ancient is under attack. Anti-Mage is going to go for it with the Book of the Dead. He jumps right on the Witch Doctor. Uh, Witch Doctor kills the entire Book of the Dead with his ult and is proceeding to beat the living shit out of the Anti-Mage. They think that's a real Anti-Mage as per usual. Witch Doctor, though, is not baited by the Anti-Mage Illusion. No, he's not. Yes, he is. He's very baited by the Anti-Mage Illusion. But don't worry, his team took down... The real anti-mage on the other side is the Spirit Breaker is going to go in with the Blade Mail. Sven has to BKB because of that. Great King going for the Barracks. While this is happening with the BKB, is ex Machina. So he can reuse that BKB if he wants to. Double kill for the Sven. So he actually ends up taking down the Spirit Breaker. This guy's just trying to get Megas here. They're going to beat his ass while he's beating the ass of the racks. Bristleback uses the Crimson Guard on the racks. That is actually saving it right now. Protects from 144 damage. Witch Doctor. While this is happening on the racks, anti-mage is going for the throne. Witch Doctor is trying to protect... The throne from dying here. The stun comes out from the Ricky onto the Anti-Mage Illusion. Anti-Mage uses the Mana Void on a hero with full mana. Once again, that's a Maledict onto the Anti-Mage. He did hit that, who blinks away, and he's going to go down. That is no buyback on the Anti-Mage. Wraith King looks like he's given up on his attempt to go for the Barracks bot because he does not have the ult. Yeah, that's going to be a double Wisdom Rune at level 30. Not an uncommon thing at this point. I, I gotta say, since the Wisdom Runes have been added. As Witch Doctor TP's in, the entire Radiant lineup is here. That's five heroes. Sven is ignoring the illusion. They've realized that it's not real. Third time's the charm once again. They've gotta go in, man. They don't have... They don't have four. This is one of those scenarios where, like, you just gotta go. Maybe you already had to go. Maybe they... Yeah, if they just... If they just hit the throne... If they just hit the throne, they can win, I think. The Witch Doctor ult comes out onto the Anti-Mage. It's not bouncing for some reason. The throne is exposed. Venomancer's trying to go for it. Sven is dead. Venomancer is dead. They're actually doing it. They're somehow defending the throne. 
Can the Witch Doctor do it? Can the Ricky do it? Witch Doctor's going for the kills because he's a fucking Giga Chad, obviously. He's not going to go for the throne if he kills the enemy heroes. This is very risky. The throne is so low, dude. If they just go for it, they win the game right now. Okay, 2v2. 2v2 scenario. Ricky jumps in. Manta style is up, so he probably will be able to kill the Viper. Can Crystal Maiden solo defend this? She uses her stupid shard, which is completely fucking worthless. Once again, Witch Doctor could hit the throne. Ricky, he is not taking any damage. Witch Doctor heal, fully maxed out. They're actually going to kill the Crystal Maiden for good measure and then end the game. So Radiant does it. I don't remember who was even in the lead for that entire game, but I feel like that was back and forth both ways. Everybody, shout outs in chat. Everybody, shout outs to Boulder. Boulder's the man of the hour, man that edits the Herald reviews. He has to sit through and watch all of these a second time. At least. Shoutouts to Boulder.